Hello and welcome everyone. You may have already seen the cult movie, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, starring the indomitable Hollywood star, the charismatic Brad Pitt. This surprising story revolves around a very sympathetic and endearing character, with a life cycle that is, to say the least, unexpected, since he was born old and grew younger while getting older. An inverted clock as a metaphor, but which draws its inspiration from a real evil and which unfortunately has nothing poetic about it. Because there is indeed a genetic disease so rare and so pernicious that the medical world cannot even understand it and whose obvious symptom is an ultra premature aging. In this video, we are going to tell you the story of Eileen Leone, a young Serafina who unfortunately left us too early, mowed down in the cradle by this terrible incurable disease that bears the barbaric name of progeria. And you will see that despite all the sadness that emerges from it, this story also carries a great message of hope to people suffering from this strange and deadly disease, and who unfortunately have only the right to a short and brief stay on Earth. Let's get started. The tragic story of Eileen Leone began in 2019 with the pregnancy of her mother, Michelle Claudine, a young woman of Swiss origin who worked as an optician. Michelle, who had always dreamed of having children, was particularly happy with the news, and her husband even more so. The young couple was already going over the future purchases to be made and the work to be done at home before the birth to prepare for the arrival of their sweet little one. But Michelle Claudine's maternal instincts warned her that something was very wrong with her pregnancy. And every time she thought about her unborn child, a dull anxiety gripped her heart. But her anxiety was not due to hormonal imbalance or the endless nausea symptomatic of the first trimester of pregnancy, because even with time, it did not seem to get better. Far from it. At the beginning of her fifth month of pregnancy, Michelle noticed that her belly was much smaller than those of other pregnant moms she saw every day, even though they were all in the same month. She decided to go see her gynecologist to have an ultrasound and find out what was wrong with her pregnancy. The gynecologist recommended an amniocentesis test, an invasive medical procedure used to detect all kinds of genetic diseases or chromosomal abnormalities, such as Down syndrome, at an early stage. But faced with this invasive and embarrassing medical procedure, which consists of taking no less than 20 milliliters of amniotic fluid from within the amniotic cavity, Eileen's young mother-to-be refused the procedure. Just two months later, Michelle Claudine was admitted to the hospital because her pregnancy was becoming very difficult for her to bear, and she had to be constantly monitored by a medical staff. The young woman was given a new ultrasound that revealed the sex of the child, but unfortunately, also a painful truth. The baby had not grown properly as it should have at this stage of the pregnancy and was suffering from many serious heart problems. The situation was so worrying that the baby's vital prognosis could be engaged at any moment. The health of the young mother was also threatened because in case of complications in this kind of situation, both the mother and the child are at great risk. Faced with this peril with totally irreversible effects, the doctor ordered Michelle's delivery by cesarean section rushing her into the operation room on November 14, 2019 at dawn. It was on that day that the cute little girl was born, looking like a Lilliputian, and to whom her mother gave the sweet name of Aileen Leone. This miraculous birth, although it took place in pain and doubt, was like a lifeline for the poor Swiss optician, who clung to it with all her strength to avoid sinking into sorrow and desolation. She who had hoped to raise children had to accept the sad fate of her beloved little girl, whom almost everyone knew was already doomed. Poor little Serafina had been diagnosed with progeria or hutchinson gilford syndrome, an extremely rare genetic disease that causes accelerated aging of human cells. This pathology was discovered in 1886 by the English physician Jonathan Hutchinson and is characterized by symptoms of physical degeneration similar to those found in very old people. Newborns suffering from hutchinson gilford syndrome will suffer from hair loss, joint pain, cardiovascular problems, and even accelerated aging of their skin, which will become wrinkled like that of a centenarian. This disease will also have a very serious impact on the development of the height and weight of the affected children so that they rarely exceed 110 centimeters for a weight of 25 kilograms. And as progeria is, unfortunately, a totally incurable disease with irreversible physical damage, almost all sufferers are already doomed. The life expectancy of those affected is only about 13 years, an age that very few of them actually manage to reach. Fortunately, the terrible hutchinson gilford syndrome remains very rare and therefore has a very low incidence of births. Affecting one newborn out of four to eight million, there are currently only about 100 proven cases in the world, including 25 in Europe and only three cases in France. But just like for the cute Aline, 
These poor children, affected by this perfidious, incurable disease, are inexorably condemned to a certain death. Because to make you short, know that progeria as a disease remains totally obscure for the modern medicine, in spite of all the major advances operated by this last one. And even if this devious pathology was discovered and documented more than a century ago, doctors have still not managed to solve its dark mystery. Indeed, the genetic mechanisms of the human body are literally indecipherable for contemporary scientists. So much so, that all the knowledge acquired since the discovery of the structure of DNA already more than 60 years ago represents only a drop of water in an ocean of knowledge. However, through hard work and determination, French scientists have succeeded in determining what may be the true cause of this terrible disease. They have succeeded in isolating the gene responsible for the premature aging of affected children, which they have identified as the Lamin A gene of chromosome 1. It would be in fact a mutation of this gene which could cause progeria in the newborn, although the precise mechanism leading to premature aging is still a total mystery. Nevertheless, these recent discoveries tend to give hope to the poor little sick children and their families, because they are likely to direct the researchers towards new therapies and cures. For if the panacea that would totally and irredeemably cure progeria does not yet exist, we can at least establish more precise and especially earlier diagnosis. And since we know pertinently today that the gene responsible for this mutation is lamin A, we can logically hope that by drastically inhibiting its production in the body of the patients, we can reduce the symptoms. Clinical trials were also conducted last February on a drug called lonafarnib, which would show significant results against progeria. This molecule, which was originally developed to fight cancer, is likely to extend the lifespan of sick children by at least a year and a half. Tests conducted in 2018 had already demonstrated that this drug could reduce in a very significant way the mortality of this terrible disease, making it pass to only 3.3% against 33.3% if no treatment is administered. The possibilities of new treatments are therefore quite vast and would definitely deserve to be explored and researched further because the future of these poor children who have become old before their time remains very worrying. Unfortunately, this disease is still largely unknown to the public. Some people do not even know that it exists, while others think that it is only a chimerical pathology invented by some authors of books or Hollywood films. Progeria indeed is a disease that is often used in cinematographic productions or in literary fiction, so much so that it is now a part of the pop culture. But if it is often referred to in films like Jack with the late Robin Williams or the Indian film Pa, produced in 2009 by Amitabh Bakchan, it is only to show its mysterious and tragic side while bathed in a poetic spirit, even downright romantic, as in the curious case of Benjamin Button. However, you will agree that there is nothing poetic about the death of such a beautiful child, like the cute little Eileen Leone, whose angelic smile everyone will remember. Unfortunately, in Eileen's case, no treatment could be envisaged, given the extreme precocity of her disease. The first signs of progeria usually appear between 18 and 24 months of age, whereas for Eileen, they appeared while she was still in her mother's womb. When she was born, this poor little thing weighed only 1,200 grams for a Lilliputian size of 38 centimeters. Progeria had caused a lot of damage to her organism, and this even before she was born. The cute little Serafina with the sweet angelic smile suffered from various cardiac and digestive problems. Her digestive system, but also her heart and almost all of her muscles had suffered enormous damage, which did not even allow her to feed on her mother's milk. She had to be constantly hooked up to a tube that brought all the nutrients she needed for her growth to her puny little body. But despite all the difficulties her mother had in feeding her, little Eileen gained a little weight and regained some color. After 100 days under medical supervision, Michelle Claudine and her little angel left the hospital with the promise of a normal life and the hope of a cure that could only be miraculous, of course. Knowing that her little girl's terrible illness was virtually unknown to the public, Michelle decided to share her and Eileen's story on social media for the first time, people discovered the beautiful smile of this adorable little girl with blue eyes and blonde hair. The whole world showed its sympathy and compassion towards the young mother and her poor child, and the Instagram pictures of Aileen made the rounds of the planet. Heart-trending pictures that immortalized these intense moments of maternal love and self-sacrifice, but also the strength of Michelle, who knew how to accompany her little girl until the end. Because it is in these arms that this beautiful existence, born in suffering and pain, but which brought only joy and happiness to her parents and to all those who saw her smile, will unfortunately end. Little Eileen Leone died on March 7, 2021, her soul having no trouble reaching heaven since she remained innocent until the end. Her loss was an insurmountable ordeal for her parents, 
but they will be able to console themselves by the thousands of messages and comments of support that are pouring in from all over the world. And the fight that they led with Aileen against this merciless disease will also have put the spotlight on this plague. Because although progeria is an extremely rare disease, its incomprehension and the fact that it is incurable require a new medical approach. And if tomorrow we were to witness an upsurge of cases with an incidence rate not of 1 in 8 million births, but of 100,000 or even 1 million cases in 8 million, this would become a huge health problem as well as a real hecatomb among children. So are we going to wait for this to happen to finally try to defeat this disease? Let's hope not, and that medical science makes even more efforts to try to cure this terrible genetic pathology, because finally, it is the future of our children that is at stake. And that's it for today. What do you think of the tragic and poignant story of little Aileen Leone, who was unfortunately born with hodgkin gilford syndrome? And do you really think that medicine will one day be able to overcome this terrible disease so that these poor children can be born and grow up normally? Tell us in the comments, and if you like this video, don't forget to put a like and subscribe and activate the notifications. See you soon for new discoveries out of the ordinary.